you guys know I'm not somebody um, that's afraid of stirring the pot. I'm not somebody who's afraid of calling people out. I'm not somebody who's afraid of confrontation. And that's exactly what this video is going to be like. This video is going to be a confrontational video to all the YouTubers and the people who have hate on me unjustfully before actually getting to know who I am, before actually understanding how I operate. A lot of people see a little bit of clips or they see certain things and they don't know as necessarily the context behind it. For example, there's a certain YouTuber who always says about how um, there's some YouTubers who don't have to work for anything. They had to work for whatever they need to work for or whatever. Listen, dude, bro, if you have a problem with me, just flat out call my name, say what you got to say um, and say to my face, don't 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 sit down here and hide behind um the the lack of information and think that nobody's going to know who you're talking about we already know who's you, who you're going to talk about and um leaves and leave steve out of it like that that man i have tremendous respect for him and what he has done and he didn't hand me everything he didn't hand me the gold keys because if I, he did i would have a million subs right now he didn't i had to work for everything that i have and i had to all he did was expose me to a few other people to a few thousand people that's what he did and the reason why i don't have 30 uh more a million subs right now is because i am not my final version of a youtuber yet i made mistakes i'm i i had to crawl and fight and get a certain stuff i haven't been handed a gold spoon maybe because i've grown faster than you doesn't mean that i've been handled handed everything that's that's how i want to say things like I haven't been handed what I had to do from the beginning of this whole thing. When I met Steve, um, I had to give value to receive value back. And the value that I gave was that I gave him a home in DVRP where he doesn't have to deal with the workings and the inner workings and the inner politics and everything with DVRP. Not saying that there's a, with a 5M community, not saying that there's a whole lot of politics in DVRP, but you have to focus on the rules you have to focus on setting certain boundaries you have to focus on certain things you have to worry about the development he doesn't have to worry about any of that he can come Tuesdays and thursdays or whenever he likes record on the vrp hop off and not have to worry about anything just the way how he likes it and in exchange i get exposure i get my community be out there i get people knowing about us i get people know talking about us and i see that as a value exchange because at the end of the day steve makes money from streaming the vrp he makes money from creating shorts he makes money from doing all the stuff that he needs to do and that helps him with his life and it helps him uh with all the things that he's doing and i'm happy for that i'm happy that i get to offer him that i get i'm i'm happy that we 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 have formed a friendship over you know what started out as business it started out as um me being genuine and if i wasn't genuine the way i am i don't think i would be here so you gotta start somewhere you gotta start with being a genuine person and that's what i am i'm somebody who doesn't take i want to say doesn't take no for an answer i focus on me focus on what i'm focused on and do stuff but i'm tired of hearing all of the shots and all the subliminals being thrown my way without you actually mentioning my name that just seems a little bit childish to me and it seems a little bit a little bit insecure it seems a little bit jealous right and i'm that's just how i see it if you don't think it's that way kudos to you but i see it as a little bit of jealousy because now you're talking about how you had to do all of this to get to that point and i've grown faster than you but don't you don't don't sit here and diminish the fact that i've sat and i've worked very very hard to create what i have I've worked very, very hard to create the community I've had. I spent a lot of money to do all the stuff. And even now, I'm still learning. I made a lot of mistakes during my, my YouTube career so far. I've made a lot of different mistakes from, from attacking my, my subscribers to getting angry, to getting emotional, to doing all the different things. And if I didn't listen to the people around me and I didn't take word from the people in DVRP, and I will always shout out to the, to the staff team and the people that I have here because they give me their honest opinion about stuff i might not agree with them there are certain times that we are going to disagree as a staff team as a development team as leadership by the end of the day we have a certain respect for each other that supersedes what our personal feelings are about certain things 
like put your feelings aside and let's talk about it and with all of that being said right i'm not gonna give away too much right now because i want to give you the opportunity to be a man and confront me the proper way and it's in a way for us to both make money okay invite me onto your podcast invite me to your channel let's have a conversation and let's go back and forth about the things that we see and that way i could provide you with the context that you valuably need before you make judgments about me before you make judgments about steve i can give you the context obviously within what i know within my scope to what you need to know to be able to make a better informed decision instead of sitting down here and throwing shots at me or throwing or or, or not even acknowledging the fact that i work hard like what is that bro like what is that i work for everything that i have yes steve gave me the exposure and i will always always be appreciative of the time and the effort that steve took to even acknowledge or even watch my stuff but if i didn't have stuff there to watch and i didn't have stuff there that was pretty good or at least good enough for people to to pay attention to and for people to want to help me i wouldn't have had all of this and this is something that i have a problem with a lot of american society a lot of you guys just don't like collaboration a lot of you guys just want to do things on your own and you make yourself you make your life exponentially harder and I get it it's something that i had a problem with i had a problem with taking help from people i figured that i had to do everything on my own and it isn't until i started growing and i started maturing and i started understanding certain stuff now that i'm 24 i understand that i can't do everything myself i understand there's gonna be people that can do stuff better than me they're gonna be people with more experience more more knowledge about certain stuff and that's why i start listening to my staff team that's why i start listening to to people like steve that's why i start paying attention to other YouTubers and paying attention to what's out there. I'm not just sitting down here copying everything I people do. Yes, I might take certain inspiration, I might take certain influences, but I'm gonna spin it and put it on my own and make my own thing out of it. So with that being said, right? I'm gonna save the rest for in the very case that you do decide that you wanna have a conversation with me. Any YouTuber out there that has a problem with why steve chose my my server why steve chose my channel let's talk about it let's sit down here don't get salty and don't get mad and don't bitch and moan about about it on your channel let's have a conversation about what it is that i offered what it is that i did so that you can make a better informed decision on what you want to do with your stuff and your your community and your channel so that you don't have to do this on your own again you don't have to do all of this on your own. We could collaborate and you, we can make fun stuff. We can make good things together. A lot of people just don't like collaboration. And that's something that with DVRP, like we, we did for a while. We didn't mind if you joined other servers and you streamed on the servers and played on other servers. Like I didn't mind that. Like kudos to you because when you go ahead and bring your eyes from there, you bring eyes to us. And that's why I also don't like, I, I, don't, I don't mind confrontation because publicity is publicity whether it's good or bad but the, the good thing is is that you could always change the bad to good or you could always change the good to bad it all depends on how you want to portray and all and the thing is in your control so again i'm gonna take the high road here and i'm going to be open to any kind of a form or discussion or anything that you want to sit down and talk about i have no problem with answering instagram dms and going back and forth with people i have no problem with us talking on a podcast or us talking on a, a live stream of any topic anything and i guarantee you i'm gonna be able to argue with you against and if it's something that i have no clue about i'm gonna tell you i don't i don't know i don't i don't got no clue about it i i'm not the smartest guy in the world but i am smart and i am i am knowledgeable about certain things so with that being said let's go ahead and let's be adults about it and let's talk about it and let's have a discussion and if you don't want to that's just a uh it's just gonna be a, um it's just gonna show us what your character is it's just gonna show you how you roll and and what your maturity level is that's all i'm saying but anyways thank you guys for all the love and the support i appreciate you all the subscribers and all the viewers that i have and um yeah i'm out y'all peace see y'all tomorrow gonna be a live stream <laughs>